When it comes to smartphones, how small is too small? What prompts my question is this. It's the new Veer from Hewlett Packard. I like it, even if it's probably not for me. The Veer, which costs $100 on a two-year AT&T contract, is the first product of HP's acquisition of Palm last year. It runs Palm's WebOS operating system, which for my money is second only to Apple in terms of ease of use, polish, and general elegance. In fact, I found myself thinking of the Veer as kind of the iPod Nano of phones. How comfortable you are using the Veer comes down to the size of your hands. I found typing on the slide-out keyboard pretty slow. Longer fingernails would have been a help. I was grateful for the dots that appeared when I pressed an item on the touchscreen, otherwise I never knew if I was landing on the right spot. Women and kids might be much more comfortable using something this size, though it's so small that I could imagine difficulties finding it at the bottom of a purse or a backpack. The other drawback, which has hampered all the Palm products, is a lack of apps. WebOS has about 6,000 compared to the hundreds of thousands for the iPhone and Android devices. Now, if the Veer is too small for you, maybe you should take a look at this. It's the new Samsung Infuse, another AT&T phone. It has a brilliant 4.5-inch screen that makes movie watching, among other things, a real delight. At the same time, it's barely a third of an inch thick, and it's extremely light for its size. It weighs about the same as the much smaller iPhone 4. The Infuse runs the Android operating system, and it costs $199.95, $100 more than the Veer. The extra dollars buy you things like a front-facing camera for video chatting and twice as much storage for your music, movies, and other data. Now a word about their speed. Both phones are labeled 4G, but they actually run on AT&T's existing 3G network, which has been tweaked in some areas to offer faster performance. They're likely to be surpassed in the speed arena later this year when the company starts to roll out a new network based on a technology called LTE. Now, neither of these are going to make people forget about the iPhone. But if size matters to you, either on the one hand or the other, these are both worth a look. For Bloomberg News and Businessweek, I'm Rich Jaroslavsky.